morning sir today i am going to uh, present my presentation on uh, managing carbon footprint of a hostel and in which the case study of a sen hall which is a uh, one of the hostels of uh, stcpur has been taken so uh, the table of content is uh, for the project description and uh, present climatic condition, uh, condition what is the carbon footprint and uh, different uh, steps for its calculation and uh, how to mitigate those so moving forward that uh, project description that uh, if i ask the top 10 global issues which are uh, prevailing now so for this hint this picture might be helpful and uh, yes you are true climate change i'm talking about the climate change only so what is this climate change climate change uh, is mainly due to this greenhouse gases emission <clears throat> which is the prime reason and uh, uh, it has a very wide scope but uh, uh, we say that uh, the ocean is made up of uh, drops of water so if we uh, just uh, look at the very minute parts like uh, managing the carbon footprint of a hostel then uh, it's also a part so that's why this uh, project is important and uh, talking about the present geographical and climatic condition of Howrah because the hostel which I have taken is situated in Howrah so it's uh, nearby the Kolkata and uh, Hooghly Bridge uh, Hooghly River sorry and its climatic condition of the past 30 years you can see that uh, there is a uh, uh, growth rate uh, in the mean yearly temperature so it shows the present uh, climatic condition as well as uh, the mean precipitation trend because uh, uh, it's also due to climate change itself and uh, talking about that uh, what is this carbon footprint so carbon footprint is uh, uh, a unit to uh, represent that uh, how much co2 is being produ produced or how much co2 equivalent is being produced by any of our uh, work so uh, carbon footprint uh, is uh, not only it's calculated as co2 but it also includes other gases uh, or other greenhouse gases which are uh, responsible for greenhouse gas effect and uh, climate change so in order to calculate the carbon footprint of a hostel we have to first uh, set the set in organizational and operation boundaries which are uh, these all are based on the uh, based on greenhouse gas protocol uh, standards and as per that firstly we have to uh, we have to create a boundary it's a imaginary boundary imaginary line which divides the operational and uh, organizational boundary so organizational boundary determines the company or institution which uh, operations to include and operational boundary includes that uh, uh, which emission sources to be included so for example uh, here it has been uh, uh, here it is shown that it's, there is a parent company and it has four uh, sub companies company a b c d so the organizational boundary are the you can see that parent company and its sub four companies and uh, each company is producing some different uh, tasks so uh, those are those are called operational boundary similarly uh, talking about in case of hostel so you can see that uh, here ist sipur has many much more buildings so uh, organizational boundary will be uh, ist sipur and it's uh, as a as a whole and uh, it's uh, uh, all other buildings and uh, talking about the operational boundary so mainly we are concerned about the sen hall so sen hall has other things like uh, mess rooms uh, water supply system electricity supply system so all these will be com come under operational boundary and now talking about the methodology for calculating carbon footprint so firstly we have to identify the sources and select a suitable approach then collecting activity data and uh, applying a uh, calculation tools and then uh, summarizing the data of the greenhouse gas emission data so for that uh, mainly it has been div divided into three scopes uh, here scopes uh, are also again a uh, uh, imaginary uh, boundary 
which uh, determines that what are the things to be included so that uh, double counting could be prevented because it may happen that uh, while counting the emissions we may counter a thing twice or thrice or uh, multiple times so in order to avoid that a clear distinction should, um, is required so that double counting must be avoided so scope one mainly covers the direct or um, direct emissions and uh, in case of scope 2 mainly uh, electricity con electricity consumption or production is uh, included in case of hostel mainly electricity consumption will be there and a scope 3 which all are not included in scope 1 or 2 and uh, but those are responsible for greenhouse uh, emission or uh, co2 so uh, talking about the in case of hostel so uh, in case of hostels so scope 1 can be uh, observed from canteens uh, mess or uh, where uh, direct burning of fossil fuel uh, takes place and in case of a scope 2 direct electricity consumption and in scope um, 3 mainly uh, it's related to sold products which uh, students consume in their day-to-day -day life or uh, uh, electricity related activities which are not included in a scope 2 like pumping of water um, because uh, water need to be pumped you know, on the rooftop of the hostel and uh, uh, other things like the food which we order from the outside or electronic gadget or uh, which are not directly but indirectly related to hostel or furniture which we are um, uh, buying so talking about the data collection so the data collection uh, scope one i already talked about that uh, direct burning so in case of uh, hall uh, means the example which i have taken uh, there is LPG burning in mess for cooking means uh, uh, it's a direct of uh, consumption of fossil fuel in uh, in a hostel uh, suppose man uh, canteen or mess is there and uh, in case of a scope 2 electricity which is uh, being consumed and in a scope 3 there is very uh, wide list like uh, food items furniture electronic gadgets stationary item building construction materials and etc so uh, a summary is like that uh, average consumption of uh, 20 commercial cylinders 19 kg is uh, used and in case of a scope 2 around 7000 kilowatt hour of electricity consumption per month uh, talking about that how i got that uh, first one is very easy you can just uh, get it by uh, seeing the past average data but in case of a scope 2 i was having little pro little bit problem because uh, uh, meters are were not available so just by uh, taking the uh, taking the data for the electric uh, electrical appliances which are available in the hostel and uh, taking uh, 50 to 60 percent running time time of that and, uh, and then i got to reach that data but uh, it will it is one of the limitations which i will be covering in the subsequent parts of the uh, ppt so and in scope 3 mess foods which are uh, which are uncooked basically because uh, 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 in scope one we have already taken that the consumption of uh, commercial cylinders so uh, these all will be included so uh, uh, and talking about the scope three so scope three you can see that uh, mess food item this uh, is the average consumption per month which has been taken so now comes about the data analysis and calculation because uh, there are two methods for cal uh, calculating the GHG emission, greenhouse gas emission, either direct measurement or analysis of fuel input. So direct measurement is a little bit tedious. So here uh, analysis of fuel input is taken because uh, the pre-calculated data were already available and uh, it's uh, beyond their scope for uh, just uh, going for uh, each uh, items uh, individually so direct measurement has been avoided here and uh, talking about the scope one emissions so i have taken the two sources for the for the consumption of uh, how much co2 is being produced after burning of the uh, lpg gas so i got that uh, around uh, 1134 kg of co2 and it has been as per the as per the one of the formula available on uh, ISC Bangalore website and second one uh, uh, was from the GHG gas protocol uh, website so you can see that around uh, 1212 kg of CO2 
has been produced and uh, in case of scope 2 it's um, again i have taken two uh, two institutions one is us epa from there i have got around 6650 kg of co2 and uh, as per the ghg protocol uh, ghg calculation tool i have got around uh, 5642 uh, kg of co2 equivalent and uh, in case of a scope 3 means uh, not uh, anywhere not uh, combined uh, data is available so from very multiple sources i have to gather that and i reached to the point that around uh, for basically raw items or the items which we purchase which can be included in scope through can uh, are included here so overall 12910 kg of co2 equivalent is consumed per month in uh, Send all HTC food. So, uh, data uh, collection limitation is there because, uh, uh, in, uh, mainly in case of scope 2, because uh, smart meters were not there, if uh, it, ha it would have been installed, then uh, a very correct figure uh, I would be able to represent here. And uh, according to that, uh, much uh, better option, much better uh, opportunities will be available to uh, see that how far we are working on the things to uh, counter the counter that uh, limitations and uh, mitigate that so scope 3 also it's very tedious because many things are included uh, many things are being used in the hostels but uh, uh, because i don't know the the data of the life cycle assessment is not there of the much things which are you being used so i am bound not to include in this list so uh, problem is known now that uh, yes carbon footprint is there now what is the solution so in order to go for that that uh, setting the ghg emission target uh, setting target why is it important it's important so that firstly we have to uh, decide the target boundary I mean suppose that i am cho choosing scope 2 that electricity consumption so for that uh, uh, after analyzing for uh, two to three years i will see that okay this much amount of average uh, or uh, uh, co2 is being produced or the uh, consumption of uh, electricity is uh, taking place so as for that i will have to uh, uh, work on that so that uh, in further years it would get reduced by use of further technologies or uh, other methods so that's why the setting a target is important to minimize the carbon footprint and uh, talking about the possible strategies to minimize the carbon footprint so in case of a scope one it's mainly uh, related to the burning of uh, fuel so all these things like uh, planning before cooking or use of pressure cooker regular checkups uh, this can be much more helpful and in case of a scope two mainly electricity is covered so uh, use of uh, solar can be much more helpful you can see that uh, this uh, uh graph shows a uh, much better depict than that uh, how much co2 if we consume the electricity which is being produced by coal based thermal power plant then it's around 820 gram of uh, co2 produced per one kilowatt and uh, if we see for uh, solar rooftop then uh, around 41 gram per kilowatt hour uh, value uh, has been uh, depicted and it is by IPCC 2014 so we have a space on our rooftop so we can also go for the solar panel installation so one analysis I have also done so uh, for one kilowatt uh, solar electricity if we see uh, economically also then uh, after 12 years almost the uh, almost the electricity uh, generation will be free if we install for the uh, solar panel and uh, uh, in case of uh, renewable or non-renewable resources we will be also able to uh, access the renewable resources for minimizing the carbon footprint due to scope 2 emissions that is electricity consumption and uh, scope 3 is a little bit much much uh, vast so here uh, i would like to just emphasis on one uh, this figure uh, you can see that 11 things you could do to mitigate climate change but uh, first one is not much more important for the students uh, below that all other things you can see that how much uh, ton of co2 equivalent can be saved per year if you uh, include these all things in your 
day to day life so it has this mainly two aspect behavioral and technological behavioral means if the consumption uh, if you know if you have the self knowledge that uh, if you know that uh, what the problem is then definitely you are going to work and uh, technology is also going to help you in that aspects so about this and uh, uh, with this i would like to conclude instead if you have, have any questions or doubts that is much more welcomed